Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing Topic number 8, Job Practice Single V-Groove Weld, Butt Joint, 45 Degree, Fixed Position, 6G, 3 Inch Diameter, Schedule 40, Steel Pipe Objective To develop skill to produce quality single V-groove welds on 3-inch diameter Schedule 40 steel pipe in the 6G position. The finished pipe weld should have a flat to slightly convex face with a reinforcement of 1 16th to 1 8th inch. The root reinforcement should be between 1 32nd and 1 16th inch. Material, 3-inch diameter, Schedule 40 steel pipe, 2 nipples per workpiece. Electrode, 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. Filler metal, 1 8 inch diameter, E70S1B, and shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body. 1 8 inch. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings, polarity. Direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90 to 95 for the root pass, and 100 to 110 for the fill and cap passes. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, one to two electrode diameters. For this exercise, prepare a pipe joint with the proper dimensions according to the procedure outlined in topic four. Clamp the workpiece in the 6G position with the axis of the pipe at a 45 degree angle and then fix the pipe securely to prevent rotation. This pipe position simulates all position plate welding. Position the torch at 6 o'clock with a 90 degree work angle and a 10 to 15 degree push travel angle. A finger stall should help you keep the torch steady. The filler rod is placed in the root of the joint against the root face. Angle the filler rod 10 degrees from the joint with one quarter inch of the rod in contact with the root face. Start the arc by lightly touching the tungsten against the root face. Travel along the joint with a smooth, steady travel speed. The filler metal is fused into both beveled edges of the joint. The filler rod is held stationary during welding. Be sure to crater out and post purge when it is necessary to break the arc. Weld completely around the joint. The finished root face should be flat to slightly concave with no undercut. The root reinforcement should range from 1 32nd to 1 16th inch. The remainder of the joint will be filled using two fill passes and two cap passes, similar to the procedure used for the 2G position. Reset the amperage to 100 110 amps. The second and third passes are deposited to form an even layer. The first bead is deposited along the lower joint bevel. Hold the torch with a work angle 10 degrees above horizontal and with a 10 to 15 degree push travel angle. The filler rod is held in the center of the root pass about 10 degrees away from the work. Deposit this bead with a smooth, steady travel speed. A slight oscillation may be necessary to spread the weld bead 
if it becomes too convex. The third weld bead is deposited in a similar manner to the second pass to produce a flat layer of weld metal. The fourth and fifth weld beads are deposited in the same manner as the second and third. Be sure to melt 1 16th inch of the outside beveled edge to produce complete fusion. The finished weld should completely fill the joint to form a flat to slightly convex face. The weld should fuse into both beveled edges and fully penetrate to the root of the joint. Inspect the weld and continue practice. Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing Topic number 9, Lecture Discussion Pipe Weld Quality Objective To become familiar with improper welding variables and techniques which lead to poor quality pipe welds and the methods of corrective action a quality way.